Good morning, YouTubers. How you doing? I ain't made a video in uh, five, six, seven days, so I figured I'd give y'all a little video, a little update. I got my new uh, Blue Ed in, uh, AC200P, brand new to my door, uh, $1,270 and some change. So you might as well say $1,271. Uh, got her in yesterday, running her today, just to give her a little test run. So far, so good. It's running my refrigerator and freezers. But uh, I did notice they did change a little something. They changed this little uh, cover right here on the newer model, AC200Ps. The older ones are square, as you can see right there. Same outlet and everything, just... I guess they're saving a little bit of money on the rubber there. You know, I guess over time it does count up. And then your plug-in. Now this is a screw-in type for your uh, uh, solar. You screw it in, aviation uh, port. Goes on the side right there. That way you can plug it up. Uh, it used to be metal and a little spring in it to where you pulled it back. But uh, I was just letting y'all know, you know, did get it and uh, these are still on sale again uh, $11.99 like I say you know $12.71 to your door brand new four year warranty if you order off a Blue Eddy website so uh, I do love these things they work great I mean I've never had a real problem I bought a used one had to send it back but that was uh, uh, just a used one again but uh yeah, if you're interested, you know, look at these on the Blue Eddy uh, site, AC200P. You can't go wrong with them. 2,000 watt and a, a surge and a 2,000 watt hour. Uh, they run great. But I just want to give you an update on that. And then uh, package me some rice today. For those of you who uh, use Maylar bags or... Uh, uh, the uh, airtight uh, vacuum bags, but uh, it's 20 pounds of rice. I've done this today. You can see I wrote on there, but uh, I just use a regular bucket. I keep them in the house. Got rice right on there, but yeah, 20 pounds of rice put up. That's another bucket I've got. Just never know. Might you know never use it, but hey, I've got it if I need it. I'm just letting it, uh, the oxygen uh, absorbers are in there and they're sucking it down. I'm just waiting till it all collapses and, uh, before I put the lid on. But uh, I mainly want to talk to y'all today about uh, a lot of people talk about bug out bags. And I know there's plenty of videos on it. I just want to show you a cheap way to go. I've kept one probably for about 10 years. This is my newest bag. I've had it for about three years. Nothing fancy, no big money. I think I give around $25 for it. Bought an extra uh, little bag right here to put on. And then this little bag right here, which it's got side pockets and zippers. One on top right here, you can see it opened. And then this one. But uh, you don't got to go super expensive because, you know, I doubt anything ever happens. But you got it if you need it. I've got one for my wife and my child. Uh... You know, just going to go over a few things I keep in mind. You know, that way might give you some ideas. And some of you, you're probably probably better prepared than me. But I just put in what I think we need if it ever happened. Uh, we live near chemical plants. You know, you never know. We live near a dam. You know, dam could break and flood the town. You know, you just don't know. So why not just be prepared, never use it, as to need it and not have it. But uh, I was just going to go over a few little things. Uh, I'll start off with this because I didn't want to jerk them out in my little pocket here. I've got two tubes right there of waterproof matches. And the little tubes here, get these off eBay or Amazon. They're waterproof. That little black gasket right there, you screw it down tight and it's waterproof. But the matches in it are waterproof as well. But... Uh, and I keep packs of matches in there. You can see them down there. They're in a plastic liner. And a little keychain uh, multi-tool. But I just didn't want to jerk all that out. It's packed in there real tight. But uh, right here, I've got a, a cheap Walmart couple of uh, bowls. And there's another one inside. A little folding uh, spork. 
you know, just something that you could eat. Uh, I've got the little uh, stove there. Uh, you just flip this little piece upside down and it makes like a little grate there and you stick this on top or under it and uh, light it. Set your pot right on top. Right here's a European kind. It folds in half and it's got the little burning tablets. They come with two packs. You know, that way you can make a quick bowl of soup or something out in the woods next to your car or whatever. Right here, I've got some uh, fire starter. Just one big pack. Got them at Walmart. They were cheap. I'm wanting to say like three, four bucks. Just keep them all in there together. Right here is my med kit. It's pretty much got everything I would need. You know, if I had to give stitches or something, which Lord, I hope I never do, but got a suture kit in there, antibiotics, alcohol pads, Q-tips, you know, gauze, whatever. Uh, emergency blankets. I think I've got four of them in there, the little foil kind. Uh, Multi-tool. Right there's a, a pretty good hand size right there. I can wear on my hip if I need to. Right there's just a smaller set. Plus the little keychain set that was in there. You just never know. You know, three is two, two is one, one is none, as they say. Keep your good little pocket knife, something sharp just keep in your pocket to use. Cut string, bags, whatever you need. Then keep you a good knife for self-defense or maybe have to cut wood or something. I keep a little small pair of binoculars in there. Uh, you never know when you might be up on the hill and need to look down. Don't want no one to know you're up there or something or down the road. Uh, a whistle, little cheap whistle. Got it off Amazon or eBay. I mean, you don't have to go expensive on this stuff. You really don't. I keep uh, a pair of underwear, two pairs of socks, a shirt, and pants. And I just keep them the big rubber bands on there. I keep them in there just for a change of clothes. You know, if you ever are out walking through the woods or down the roads, eventually your feet's gonna get wet. Keep a, a change of socks in there. You know, you don't wanna get pneumonia or nothing. Keep your good pair of gloves, something to work in and to keep the frost off, you know, the chill. Right here, I keep this. This is a, a waterproof uh, uh, little container. And I keep a lighter, some Kleenexes in there, some little uh, tablets down there to write on, uh, ink pens, and some trash bag ties. You just never know what you're going to need when you're out there. But, you know, you just snap that shut, and it's waterproof. You can throw it in the lake, and, you know, everything inside is going to be uh, uh, dry. It's got a little red ring right there, rubber ring gasket. But it just, you know... Keeps everything safe. If you got medicine, you can use them for your medicine. I keep a couple of little prepper and survival uh, books in there. You, if you need to know how to make a little lean tune or herbs in the woods that you might see, you know, knots to, for a, a fishing line and hooks, it's all in these. They're small, I just keep them in there. You never know when you might need to know something. Keep a little Ziploc bag of soap. Toothbrushes, toothpaste, a razor, you know, just something small, convenient. Right there, I got me some uh, Listerine strip mouthwash, uh, uh, Luden's uh, uh, cough drops, hot chocolate right there, packs, you know, just something. And right here is water, uh, water purification tablets. I've talked to y'all before about these. And, uh, I just bought a whole big wad of them. There's the direction. Shows you how many gallons and all that. I keep all that in a Ziploc bag. You just never know. Right there's the K-Bar uh, fishing uh, pole. Just something small and convenient to put in the bag, you know. Just spin it. And wrap your string around here. On the inside, you can store your hooks and uh, sinkers and stuff or lures, line. Just something small and convenient. Right here, I keep extra lighters, hand warmers. You know, if you're outside and you ain't got a home or something, you know, for a few days, you just never know, you know, keep your hands warm. You can put these down in your boots or your socks. 
you know, just wherever. Uh, ponchos, I just get the little cheap ones. I got about five or six of them there, me and my family. You know, if someone else needs one, I've got one to help them. Keep you a good toboggan, you know, keep your head and ears warm. You don't want to get sick and have pneumonia, you know, when you're in a bad spot. Uh, right here is a flashlight. It's a solar flashlight. Uh, that way, you ain't got to worry about batteries. It ain't the best. It's a cheapie, but it works. And a uh, little hatchet, just a little cheap thing. Keep that in case you do need firewood, need to cut something, you know, that a knife can't handle. Use that. Super cheap little radio and a little lantern kind of light. You know, you use that FM radio. It's a hand crank right there. I want to say I give like three or four dollars for that. It works. It ain't going to get way out there or nothing, but it does work. You want to make sure you got something to put water in. I got this at an Army Navy store. I want to say I give like three to five dollars, something like that, just the way it is. You know, bring them home, boil them out, clean them. That way, if you need water, put it right on your hip or your backpack, you're good to go. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all a few things there. You know, emergencies, uh, they do happen. If you watch the news, look down there in the, I think it was, uh, they had on the other day there, uh, they had a big earthquake somewhere. I forget where it was, but, you know, over a thousand people killed. But, uh, you know, over in Hawaii, wherever, things do happen hope they never happen to me hope i never have to use this stuff but if we ever had to leave real quick you know chemical spill dam broke whatever i'd grab the, our backpacks first thing you know that way you can make it for a little bit but uh again you don't have to have all this expensive stuff you know just shop around just something that'll it'll work you don't got to go all you know, gung-ho on everything and spend $100 on a backpack you might not never use or you might just use once. So, you know, just think about things like that. But I just want to make a quick little video. Uh, my Oops Mega 5, it's supposed to be shipped uh, out the 16th of this month, which is Saturday, uh, three more days. And uh, got my old one already boxed up, ready to ship. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to check in with y'all, make a little short video, you know, might get some of y'all's minds going, and you might think, you know, hey, let's run to Walmart and get a few little things, you know, and, and you don't have to have no military style backpack. You can grab something for hiking and hunting, uh, a school, uh, a kid's school backpack will do, you know, just something that will hold it. That's all you need, you know, don't go out there and spend 500 bucks on this stuff, you know, that's crazy walmart at do dollar store you know dollar general wherever but uh one of the main things i've always said water purifi purification tablets I, I i don't know why but i cannot say that word hardly but uh definitely get them you never know when you're going to have them and they're inexpensive lighters matches and always a knife and a multi-tool is great when i have you some uh, rope I forgot about them. Cordage, big old roll right there. And then I keep a small one just for little things. And uh, a knife sharpener, cheap. And right here's one thing that everybody should have. These are uh, like at a gas station where you can turn on their water spigots outside when they spray off their lots or a Walmart or something. These are different sizes. These are great. You know, keep that with you. And if you ever are on foot, hey, go to a store or something, you know, it's late at night, you can turn on their water easy, you know, get you a little bit of fresh water. But, uh, them's good to have. There's different kinds and different makes. I just got a little cheap one. But, uh, yeah, just, uh, think about it, you know, make you a little list of a few little things to get to put in a little backpack or a duffel bag, whatever. That way you're ready. But, uh. Well, I just want to do a little short video, and uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm not trying to bore you. Just some things that, you know, people need to think of, you know. Uh, better to have it, you know, is to need it and not have it. 
All right, people, I appreciate you tuning in. As uh, soon as my oops arrives, I'll give you another update. And uh, I hope you're doing well. And God bless.